So, have you ever wondered how some people get enough stock all the time when you want to buy fish? It's because they know the tactics into stocking when it's right. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can stock your fish and spread it so that you have stock all the time when people want to buy fish from you and not just fish i'm going to do an honorable mention for poultry as well so this is whether you are doing the grow out section or the archery aspect of fish farming if you're ready let's go if you are into fish farming whether grow out section or the actual aspect of fish farming there are ways that you can do so that you have enough stock to give to your customers and you spread it when it's time let's give an example if you have a 5000 capacity pond or you have a 20000 capacity pond or you have a 10000 capacity pond and you want to do either may launch or table size what do you do instead of stocking the whole 10000 or the whole 5000 at once all you need to do is spread it have a spread of how you're going to collect your juvenile or fingerlings whatever you decide to have on the farm maybe every three weeks or one month what do i mean your first purchase should be 2000 that is if you have a 5000 capacity i'm going to be using a 5000 capacity for this video your first talking will be a 2000 juvenile and after three weeks you are going to collect another set of juvenile for maybe 2000 or 3000 in order to make up the number of the capacity that you have on the farm what this means is by the time your first 2000 arrive for harvest the remaining 3000 there are some that will be ripe for harvest at that period because they are not going to grow at the same rate they are not going to grow together there will be some that will be smaller and there will be some that will grow bigger than the rest so spreading your stockings over a period of three weeks or one month will give you something that when people need fish at any point in time you have fish to sell to them rather than stocking five thousand at once and when you sell them you have to wait for another three months or six months depending on the cycle you want to practice before you have another fish having this practice it's very important on the farm and that is why i always say when you have your pond whether plastic pond tarpaulin pond or concrete pond you need to have a, another set of pond that will be like an extra pond for you preferably plastic pond where you can first stock your juvenile or fingerling before transferring them to the main pond when you want to stock your next fish in order to have something to sell and spread them before you do that instead of going for the whole 5000 at once you can decide how you want to do it you can decide 1005 1005 2000 over a space of three weeks 1005 for the first stocking 1005 for the second stocking and 2000 for the third stocking and you can decide to do it 2005 2005 depending on how you eventually decide to do it and if you are into the actual aspect of the farming business what you can do is you need to have enough space and when you hatch your fish you have another space after four weeks to hatch another fish so that when they grow and they are ready to sell you have something to sell at all times this is what i practice that's why i have fingerlings and juvenile to sell at all times and if you are into the poultry aspect of the business and maybe the layers aspect you know that layers bed are going to lay for like two years instead of wait at the end of two years before you get another stocking all you need to do is for the two years allowed of your current bed you need to have at least take your bed for like eight weeks before then so that by the time it's time for you to dispose the beds that are already lay in the whole layers you have stock at hand and people will not have to wait for long before they start getting new batch of eggs so when next you want to do your production cycle don't do like the former one that you've been doing where you stock your whole capacity maybe you have a 20,000 and you stock the whole 20,000 at once spread it over a period of time and you know what you're going to keep having stocks to sell to your customers my name is Daniel I help you discover learn and improve your processing in agricultural business and other business opportunities if you have not subscribed click on the subscribe button turn on notification so that you don't miss anything when I release a new video 
catch you in this video